welcome to the Mountain View School Division Ed Tech series of videos. My name is Kirsten Thompson and I am the coordinator of ICT. I am based out of the division office, but work with programming in all 16 of our buildings and all seven of our Mountain View School Division communities. The purpose of this series of videos is to provide insight for our Mountain View School Division families on what is happening behind the scenes with educational technology, why we make the decisions that we do, what your children can expect when they're in our programming, and some things that you should know to help ensure that your students are safe as they interact with a variety of tools. The health and well-being of anybody within our Mountain View School Division family is of the utmost importance. In a response to the COVID-19 pandemic, when your student enters the building, they will see the following signage affixed anywhere that they would normally interact with a digital device. So this includes our desktop computers, our laptops, any of our tablets, as well as high touch tech areas such as photocopiers and printers. Now this signage does remind any participants the importance of washing their hands before and after using one of our digital devices. And it also reminds our staff of some of the priorities we want to undertake when we're working with digital devices. This includes things like finding a workspace where you can appropriately social distance, as well as doing the necessary cleanliness of the device following its use. Now we have provided wipes for all of our 16 school buildings, and these wipes will be used to disinfect any technology in between different users. If you're interested in disinfecting the devices around your home, so this might include things like laptops, tablets, smartphones especially, remotes, TV screens, anything like that, I recommend a damp, lint-free microfiber cloth. So for some devices, you may have received a cloth right in the package when you got it. Otherwise, you can purchase one uptown locally. Make sure that your cloth is damp, but not wet. So you wanna wring it out really well because any lasting moisture on the device could potentially cause damage. I have an iPad in a child-friendly case here. So you would wipe the entire device, making sure that you get any crevices or cracks that are in the case, and make sure that you pay attention to specialty areas like the camera, the microphone, and the charging ports. These areas can be especially sensitive to any lasting moisture. You can also wipe your cloth down with a 70% isopropyl alcohol, just to make sure that any bacteria is killed on that surface. Now, with any type of device cleanliness, I do recommend that you either go back to the guidebook that you got when you received the device, or do a Google search of the cleanliness instructions for your specific device make and model. You'll find that each company has very individual preferences on what their cleaning processes are. So keep your device clean. Know that our devices within Mountain View School Division are as clean as possible as well. And we look forward to having your students learn how to use these devices in their programming this year. I wanna thank you again for watching our MVSD Ed Tech series. If you have any questions at any time, remember you can contact your child's teacher directly. You can talk to the admin at their individual school building, or feel free to contact me, Kirsten Thompson, coordinator of ICT, at kirsten.thompson at mvsd.ca.